Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy. In today's lesson, we're doing the classic tune, When the Saints Go Marching In. Now, as ever, we're gonna be doing this song in three different ways for beginners, intermediates, and advanced level players. We're gonna be doing it in more of a New Orleans style groove, as that's often how this tune's played. One of the all-time great versions of this is, of course, Louis Armstrong, who recorded this tune in 1938. And it really captures the feel and mood of that more early style of jazz. This is a great simple melody to learn as well if you want to learn about how to start to jazz up melodies. If you were to look this melody up normally, you'll find it's written out in a very plain way, just with like quarter notes and half notes. But in all three of today's versions, you'll hear how the rhythm is much more interesting and gives it much more life. Now we're gonna be doing this in the same key as the Louis Armstrong version, A flat major concert, so F major for the altos and B flat major for the tenors. For the beginner version, we're taking it at around 140 BPM and we're gonna go once through the melody. And you can get the free PDF and the backing track for this beginner version. And the link to that is down below at onlinesaxacademy.com. Now for the more beginner players, you may find this a little bit fast at first. So of course you can use the YouTube playback speed settings to slow it down. Really have a listen to the rhythms that are being used as well. And I would listen to it a couple of times through and try to sing along before you go to play it on your sax. Okay, so here's that beginner version. Okay, and for the intermediate version, we're gonna be moving up to 160 BPM, and we're gonna be playing through the tune twice. You'll see how I varied the melody a lot more on the second playing, and it's almost like an improvised solo, but you should still be able to hear the melody coming through. Now, if you become a premium member at Online Sax Academy, you'll be able to get the PDF and the backing track and performance track for this intermediate version. And with the backing track, you'll be able to try playing your own versions of this as well. So if you're someone that's learning how to improvise, you can have a look at my version here and take some inspiration and some ideas from it, and then try to put together your own version of the melody. And if you're new to improvising or you want to push your improvisation skills up a level, then over at Online Sax Academy on the courses page, we have the Learn to Improvise course, which steps you through right from the very beginning. All right, so here's this intermediate version. <laughs> Okay, next up, we're gonna do the advanced version. We're going up again a little bit in speed to 180 BPM. And for this version, we have a short four measure introduction before the tune kicks off. In the middle, there's an improvised solo, which I've transcribed. And then we come back out again with the melody at the end. As ever, you can learn this as an example solo. You can also take ideas and inspiration from it to help you when you want to put together your own solos. And of course, these backing tracks and PDFs are available to download for premium members. Okay, so here's the advanced version.
All right, along with these three versions, I'd recommend you learn the basic version without all the decorations from memory. This is a great one to work out by ear as well, as it only uses five notes, the first five notes of the F major scale for altos, or the first five notes of the B flat major scale for tenors. So have a go at playing the more basic version of this from memory without any sheet music. And then for an extra challenge, you can pick a different key, like say the G major scale, and try playing that melody in the G major scale. It's a great way to start to connect your ears to your fingers and to feel more connected to your saxophone overall. And simple, clear tunes like this are great ones to use for this kind of ear training. And don't forget to head over to Online Sax Academy to get the free PDF and backing track for the beginner version. Hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future lessons and I'll see you guys next week.